Welcome to FastEasySignUp.com, where you can get your health care fast and easy. Find out what financial assistance you may be eligible for and what plans are available in your area. For those of you that prefer personal assistance, give us a call at 800-315-0867 and we will guide you through the process and best of all, our service is free. You will start by entering some information like your name, date of birth, and the income you expect to make this coming year. Now, we want to enter our annual income projected for 2015 to as close as possible or as accurately as possible. In particular, if we're getting financial assistance because too much subsidies, we're going to have to pay it back and we definitely don't want to get too little either if we are eligible. So let's just say John here is making approximately $30,000 a year. He's not a smoker and he's single, so he's not a, he doesn't have a spouse or any dependents. As you can see, it automatically auto-populates and it tells us exactly how much of a tax credit he's getting here to offset his monthly premiums. So he's getting $97.33 a month in the form of a tax credit to help offset his monthly premiums. Now you can see here the uh, plan information of the plan details and you can also see here how the plans, there's, there's a great many plans here. We go through it there's a bunch of different carriers we have just about all the carriers available and you can now just quickly choose and you can go through them all and see which ones to your liking also you can go up here to the metals and actually see according to the metals what is available to you of course the silver plan if you saw our other videos indicates that it is the one that's going to give you the cost sharing subsidy fortunately in this case john is not going to be able to be eligible for that because we can see here that he's still at the max out of pocket of 6300 or 6600 in the other plans so with that in mind you may want to go up to a gold plan if you think that you're going to go ahead and be using that in this case it is is indeed a payoff because here we can see that his actual out, total out-of-pocket cost is going to be 3500 and because he's in a gold plan if you saw our other video on the on the metals you understand that the metals indicate the coinsurance so gold is your 80 20 traditional mix so it's a, it's a good deal for 287 and when especially when you compare it to say a lesser plan who you can see here it goes to 249 and it's 6300 dollars out of pocket so it would probably be good for john to go ahead and go with a gold plan or uh, and with this particular carrier now we're not endorsing any carrier above any other we're just showing you how the plans change and how you can go ahead and elect them the important thing to see is the max out of pocket of course how much your doctor's visits are and your to and your co-insurance and things of that nature and of course you can always go into the higher details here which will bring in more information on that particular plan and if you even want to go a little further you can go to the summary benefits and you can even check out the provider directory here to see if your your current doctor is on there so getting back to john let's say he's going to go ahead and pick this plan here we can now see that the subsidy is automatically added in or subtracted from his monthly payment and his monthly payment would only be 189 because he's getting 97 dollars and 33 cents in the form of a tax credit to help offset his cost so let's say we've picked this plan this is our plan and this is what we like of course, if we picked a different plan, you can see how it's automatically calculated for you. We're going back to this particular gold plan. We hit uh, continue, and now we're going to get into the portion that is going to show us how we're going to interface with the um, actual back end of the government site. Now, what we're going to do here is press continue. Now, we have to make sure that once we do this, and we'll walk you through this, that we always return to the enrollment site once we're done, and I'll show you what we mean in a second. So you hit continue and now it's going to take us directly to healthcare.gov. Now if you don't have an account, okay, haven't created an account, then you will need to create one and simply click here. And what will happen now is uh, we are going to be taken to the healthcare.gov site and we're going to just say Florida, apply now, and we're just going to enter this simple information and auto populate it with email that we already have created for this particular example and we're gonna have to quick three quick questions and uh, you could be whatever one you want just for the sake of purposes we're just gonna make it nice and fast and easy just to show you now what will happen now we click understand and then we say create our account and it says check your email well, it just so happens because I know we're going to be doing this. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Health Insurance Marketplace. Your account has been created. So now we click here, and it's going to give us a link. That we click on that link, and it's going to come into our back into healthcare.gov, and it's going to tell us success. So now we just hit continue. 
and now we log in with our username which is going to be the email that we created or that where they sent us that mail oops let's get back to that and the password that we created on that first page now we're gonna log on now what's gonna happen is we're going to go and get coverage yes we want to get coverage we pick our state then we hit the apply or renew button and we basically follow the prompts from there on out the first thing we're going to get to is a verification page where we're going to put some preliminary information again and they're going to verify who we are by asking us three pertinent questions that only we should know the questions to which you will get that we're just going to bypass that and then you're going to be sent straight to start your application where you hit the prompt again you're going to be given a disclosure and uh, if you want to read more about those disclosures you can simply click on the link there and that will take you to uh, some explanations and then we go back and we enter more our contact information once again uh, be sure to enter in your home address or and your mailing address should your mailing address be different than your home address then you want to go ahead and click that and make sure that uh, the next drop down menu comes in and you put in your home address the uh, preferred language is going to be with all the correspondence is going to be printed in so if you prefer something other than English be sure you pick it we like to do paper notices in the mail to make sure that we have a paper trail of what's going on and then we hit save and continue verify the address once again another security question and then it's going to ask us if we want help we want to say yes we want financial assistance or at least you want to see if we can get it and here we go and we're adding in any other additional members in this case remember we're just doing John Smith we have some optional questions uh, here again is our US citizenship if we're not a US citizen for whatever reason we will hit no and then we will be given a series of documents in the drop down menu that will allow us to enter in what document we have that makes us legal now more information on the household as it pertains to how you are going to be filing your tax returns should you be married you want to be filing jointly to uh, get some financial assistance and you definitely don't want to be claimed on anybody else's tax return but your own so you can't be a dependent for someone else to be eligible for financial assistance or through the marketplace more on some kids again this example is for John Smith who is a single male uh, optional questions once again that we can simply bypass uh, of course some we can't so make sure you read the uh, Alaskan and Indian natives are very important you're going to go on to the income portion which you can see here there's several forms of income so you want to put down all your forms of income because it is very important that you get your income for 2015 as accurate as possible you certainly don't want to say you're making less in order to get more subsidy and then end up having to file a tax return because you will have to pay the difference back so make sure you're as clear and concise and as accurate as possible when you're doing your income and again save and continue as some more additional information as to what health care is being offered to you now if any if you have some through the work or through uh, another workplace or through a spouse there's a special form that you may send to that workplace to see if they the coverage that they're being offered is going to be within the guidelines for you to go outside of that coverage more optional questions that form by the way we can provide for you here is the end of it review if you find any mistakes you can easily go back and edit that portion hit save and continue some more testaments you may want to make sure you hit agree there and then finally our electronic signature which is binding remember this is in the penalty of perjury so you don't want to be doing anything wrong we can view our eligibility results by clicking here after we view them we want to return to the enrollment website by clicking there and do our final attestation by entering our name once again and then hitting complete enrollment and that's it you are all done congratulations you have just enrolled and if there are any other questions or if you would like to just make sure that you're doing this correctly from the get-go give us a call we'd be more than happy to help you best of all our service is absolutely free with no cost to you whatsoever we pride ourselves on finding you the best health coverage at the lowest rates possible, 100% guaranteed. So if you want to do it on your own, check it out, fasteasysignup.com, and see for yourself how fast and easy it is to get health care. We hope this was informative, and we look forward to helping you. Thank you. Take good care.